research finds some GM corn can cause organ failure. A study published in the International Journal of Biological Sciences asserts three tested varieties of Monsanto's genetically modified corn can cause organ failure, calling for further research. The varieties of corn are Mon 810, Mon 863, and NK 603. They were approved for food use, food use, for humans in Europe and North America. The research is described as the first to ever comprehensively study the potential mammal health risks that may arise from eating genetically modified food products. The research title is A Comparison of the Effects of Three GM Corn Varieties on Mammalian Health. It's conducted by four French scientists. In a summary, the scientists said, our, our analysis clearly reveals for the three GMOs new side effects linked with GM maize consumption, which were sex and often dose dependent. Effects were mostly associated with kidney and liver, the dietary detoxification organs, in other words, organs that clean your blood, although different between the three GMOs. Other effects were also noticed in the heart, adrenal glands, spleen, and we conclude that these data highlight signs of hepatotenorial toxi toxicity possibly due to the new pesticide specific in each GM corn. And they say it's important to study GM food because these substances have never before been an integral part of the human or animal diet and therefore their health consequences for those who consume them, especially over long time periods, are currently unknown. They fed rats GM corn varieties for three months and said the results called for long-term studies. Five of Monsanto's GM corn products are pointing to serious problems with Canada's regulations. Health Canada recently approved an eight-trait GM corn, Smart Stacks, without assessing its safety. And recently, Europe asked serious safety, safety questions about a high lysine corn Canada has also approved years back. Health Canada must deal with the reality that it is a approved GM foods and that are increasingly understood as dangerous. Health Canada has taken a dangerously negligent approach to safety of Smart Stacks corn by not following the recommended guideline, guidelines of the UN Codex for a full safety assessment. Monsanto has said that its GM products are safe, although at least one of the one other independent study has shown that Mon 863 maize to have toxic effects on the liver. Mon 810 corn was banned in a, in a few European countries. The controversial product contains Bacillus thuringiensis to control the Asian corn borer. BT is a bacteria commonly found in the soil. The safety of this product has been questioned frequently since it was released in the market in 1997. NK603 is a variety of corn engineered to be resistant to Monsanto's herbicide Roundup. While the safety of this product has been a concern, there has been little scientific research demonstrating that NK603 is not safe until recently. Sherat said that all three varieties are approved in Canada. Now France <coughs> banned Monsanto 810 <coughs> in 2008 and they call they're calling for more research into the environmental safety of, of Mon 810. The only genetically modified corn allowed to be grown in Europe. France has presented its concerns to European body reviewing Mon 810. The European Commission will also finalize a new review. Monsanto posted a first quarter loss of 19 million, which is blamed on a decline of herbicide sales, but Monsanto has been focusing more on genetically modified crops, uh, crops such as cripes, such as genetically modified wheat, which it plans to reintroduce to North America. Plans for GM wheat were first brought forward in 2004, but were shelved after protests by farmers and consumers.
Monsanto is also working on creating a drought-resistant maize, which can be grown in semi-arid regions of the world. This work has received the financial backing of the Gates Foundation. Gates Foundation, partnered with the Rockefeller Foundation, are working to bring the next green revolution to sub-Saharan Africa. Monsanto has developed a drought-resistant corn for use in Western countries and has applied to the FDA for approval to sell the seed in the United States.